Hello. It's the Mover Mailbag. I'm Mover, not Mailbag. Although people have called me Mailbag before, so whatever. Uh, I've got two pieces of mail and a lot of emails and hopefully a lot of chat because those are the fun ones. And that's it. That's what we're doing today. Uh, updates on the channel. I apologize for the Top Gun Maverick thing. It was never... So here's the thing. We did so much of a breakdown on that movie that it ended up being like three hours worth of content. And I was like, we need to break this down. And the whole plan was six videos, uh, no more than, you know, 34 minutes or whatever it ended up being. And on the last one, it got to the very end of the seven day copyright waiting period. And Paramount decided, take it down or you're going to get a copyright strike. It's like, okay, cool. So I broke it down because I went to content ID, found out what part they had the problem with. And I was like, okay, I'll break it down into three videos. But when you do that, it rehacks the seven day clock. And so that was the only way right now we're on day six of the seven day clock. Hopefully, um, it gets released tomorrow, but there is a better than average chance that those three videos are lost forever. Just like the other one, if for some reason, Paramount does not like the uh, last part of the of the series, uh, especially the, the Tomcat stuff. Tomcats, they don't like it. Um, so it is fair use. But whether they agree with that, you know, unfortunately, that's just how the YouTube content ID stuff works. And at this point, I'm a little tired of Top Gun Maverick, so it's not a huge battle to fight. But uh, hopefully we can come to some good resolution here in the next day or two. So Stay tuned for that. My apologies that, you know, people were like, well, are you dragging it out? No, I'm not dragging it out on purpose. This was not intentional. Um, in fact, all three videos passed content ID immediately. They lasted 24 hours, which is why part six or whatever the one that you guys saw with the premiere, that one had gone through. And I thought, you know, we're good to go because we had you know, cropped out the part that, you know, they had the problem with. And then... And one hour after it had been live, uh, it got hit. So that's the nature of Mover Ruins movies. Unfortunately, it's not in my control. So uh, let us get to your questions and emails. I'm just looking at the uh, the things. Thank you, Thomas, for that. So, uh, oh, here's one. A couple of months ago, I asked how to best support my spouse that's about to start Injep, and you told me to limit distractions. Surprise, I'm seven months pregnant. Oh, boy. I hope this wasn't the announcement. I hope I didn't just like spoil that, but yeah, I don't know. Do I need more lighting? You, you always say, is that better? Anyway, so this first one comes from Leslie in Australia. Um, uh oh, oh no. Oh boy. I did this badly. All right. So you guys didn't see what I just did, but that's good because, because we're going to, I tried to open it like a boss and I ended up opening it like a, not a boss. That's my, <laughs> I hope there's no, okay, good. We didn't get any of the writing. Hi mover for a couple of years. Now I've been watching your YouTube channel and found the content on aviation. Very informative. Also love your inputs on DCS and the way you ruin movies, so to speak. I've always loved aviation since forever and been very fortunate to score a joyride in one of Australia's two new Air Force Six Squadron Blackhawks at Amberley in 1988. And on the same day, another joyride in a Chinook from the 12 Squadron RAAF. Then later that year, I was invited back to Amberley to fly the F-111 simulator. Though I could not serve in the Royal Australian Air Force to fly the F-111 due to cerebral palsy. That kept me grounded in a wheelchair, but still kicking ass in DCS. <clears throat> back in 2010... I was invited to attend the retirement of the F-111C and kept in touch with some of the officers that operated the PIG. In 2015, I approached the RAF, RAAF uh, about a patch design for the E-18G in 2017. To my surprise, it showed up on their manufacturer's website. So the, the commanding officer of 6th Squadron did approve it. The Air Force has given me so much, so it was nice to see that I could give something back. Thank you, Mover. Kind regards, Dark Jedi 7. Uh, piglet. Call sign. Check that out. It looks cool. Real cool. That is awesome. That is the way. So that's real cool. Thanks for sending that. Thanks for sharing it. Um, yeah. 
Joda says, hey, now it's a live stream. Yes, we're live streaming both on Twitch, which I've neglected and I'm sorry. And uh, um, on the YouTubes. So you guys are both seeing it. Uh, I there we will eventually do the nerd stuff again. I just haven't. Um, you know, by the time later in the evening gets around, here's the E18G, by the way. I just don't feel like playing video games. But Gonky has assured me he keeps saying next week, which I think is like the DCS in two weeks or maintenance. It'll be ready soon. But he keeps assuring me we are going to do uh, F-16 versus Hornet rematch soon. So wish I would stream on Rumble. I, I don't know if StreamYard can do Rumble. I have a Rumble account. Everything gets uploaded to Rumble from here, but I don't know. I do need a patch border case. I, I collect. I keep collecting more and more, and I have nowhere to put them. What? Holy moly! A DVD, Firefox, <laughs> and by dawn's early light. Well, I have to read. I'm glad you guys are sending DVDs. Well, I thought this was going to be something adult, but uh, let's see here. Let's see what the letter says that somebody really wants me to see Firefox. I've never seen Firefox. Hi, CW. I'll introduce my name is Seth. Watching your videos for a year now. I've sent emails through your website with some suggestions. Uh, you probably get a lot of messages. I can't keep track. Got other things going on. So I sent two DVDs of the movies I suggested. Think you'll enjoy them. They are pretty good movies. I'm shocked that you haven't done one of them earlier and should have been second or third reaction. Firefox with Clint Eastwood. Come on, man. Clint Eastwood. You can't go wrong with Clint. Dirty Harry. I'll stop here. Don't have much more to say, but it's just a short letter. Hope you enjoy the movies. I like your thoughts and reactions on this. Keep up the good work. Well, that's awesome, dude. Thanks, Seth. That's crazy. Uh, the irony, though, is that I'm actually going to have to go download it because I don't think I have a DVD player on this computer set up to stream or to do Mover Runs movies. But that is awesome. Where did I? I just do with it. I just put it somewhere. I got to make sure it's not Paramount because Paramount, anything with Paramount, dude, good luck. Good luck. That's all I'll say. Flight of the Intruder was a pain. Top Gun was a pain. Top Gun Maverick is a pain. If it's just Paramount, good luck. Uh, anyway, back to your letters. Let's see what the old chat's doing. Uh, sorry, I, I kept your patch board up there. Uh, do you think actual dogfights have occurred over Ukraine? I don't know. There's so much, you know, poor information. There's not a good information stream coming out of Ukraine. It's very hard to tell what's true and what's not. Uh, but hey, congratulations on passing your private pilot check ride. That is awesome. That's really good to hear. Uh, first in many, hopefully, uh, check rides. I want to find some helo controllers for DCS once I get VR. Had anything else in the army? Then you need to go to Pro Flight Trainer and get the new Puma X, which I'll be doing a review on. They sent me the new one, which is perfect for the Apache. Uh, we'll be doing a review on soon. I'm trying to get the Lewis for it. I'm hoping they send me that soon. So, oh boy. Uh, so, news about Sniper. Um, who is my dog? The oldest dog. Not great. Um, so we were going to do a teeth cleaning of all things. He fell out of the Durango at the time, I think, because he always likes to jump out. Hurt his knee. Got better from that. They did the x-ray. They found three more masses on his lungs that they're not sure if it's masses or not, because if you can see it in one view, you can't see it in the other. He moves around a lot when he's getting x-rayed. So they said, before we do any dental cleaning and stuff that they've got to do anesthesia, we um, he, he needs to see the oncologist in three weeks, which is next week now, and get another x-ray, another follow-up with the oncologist, all that stuff. Well, then Monday night, I went out to go assist the patrol uh, with the sheriff's office. And they have a doggy door, so they're free to do whatever. It's a secure yard. You know, I've never had any problems, typically. He did something at some point while I was gone for the six to nine hours, and he, I think, completely tore his CCL. Uh, so that CCL, he had had a TPLO, tibial plateau leveling osteotomy on the left one. The right one, a 
couple years ago, falling out of the jumping out, he had hurt his right rear leg. And we, instead of, because he was older, he was like nine years old at the time or 10, we decided to do PRP, which he actually responded really well to and was doing really well. And every now and then he'd get arthritis and stuff, but for the most part, he was doing well, but this is the worst I've seen him. And now it's in a position where with the possible resurgence of cancer, you can't do any surgeries with them because they can't do any anesthesia. We're just trying to figure it out. So Thursday next week, um, we're going to the oncologist and going to see what the prognosis is for that. Uh, he's 13. There's not a lot I want to put him through at 13 because any surgery is going to be even a, even if, even if he didn't have the cancer considerations, the TPLO is a major surgery. It's a major recovery. It's tough. You know, I'd probably try to look for some non-surgical options, but that's what's going on with that. Uh, thanks for asking. It's been a, it's been a time. Um, yeah. Anyway, do you think you'll try to get a job flying helicopters? No, I don't need a job. So no, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, Go watch. So how did I get my call sign? Go back to the very first video on this channel. I told the whole story on there. Uh, if I go fly the 787, it'll be next year, uh, March, April timeframe. Hopefully not March. I just ordered a, a NASCAR event at Charlotte for myself for my birthday. So, and the, the earliest they could do it is, is March. How many hours do I have? I don't know, like 3,000, something like that. Pretty close to 3,000. Um, would you consider ruining Ace Combat 7? Yeah, I need to finish that. I just, I've now I've forgotten where I left off. But anyway, let's go back to the, uh, the thing. I, that is a complete myth. I, people think, I think you have to have, you know, pushing a million subscribers, not whatever I have, or I'm doing it wrong. One of the two. Anyway, uh, your questions. Blue Angels in G-Suits. Just found your channel, became a fan, wanted to be a pilot in the Air Force, but medical issues took care of that for me. Watching your videos reignited that for me. So thanks for letting us all live vicariously through you. What do you think about the Blue Angels saying that they don't use G-Suits specifically because it interferes with their flying? I've seen several interviews with them, and they all seem to give the same explanation, that they rest their arm on their leg, and the constant inflating, deflating of the suit messes with them holding the stick. Uh, as a prior F-18 pilot, what's your view on that? I've heard they don't wear them because they don't look cool too long to take off when they get out of the plane it just seems pretentious anyway i hope you have an answer that i haven't answered that i don't have an opinion on it though uh, i can see with the way they do it how it could get in the way me personally i'd always want the g suit so more power to them for using without i know the thunderbirds do and they somehow manage but um you know use all the tools available to you uh, and i think looking cool and sounding cool is always important but you know, staying awake is also kind of a nice thing too. So it's not, a, not really, none of my business. All right. This next one comes from Brendan. Greetings from SoCal. Been a fan of the channel for seven years, several years. I deeply appreciate everything you create with it. And looking at a career pilot option is hoping you can get your input. In short, I'm 38 years old, married, decided to pursue a professional pilot career path after trying to make it as a graphic designer for more than a decade. Graphic design work has been nowhere near as professionally or personally satisfying as I'd hoped. Left me disappointed on the whole. I've been fascinated with airplanes for as long as I can remember. was led to believe at a young age that I wasn't smart or strong enough to make it happen, mostly told by people not qualified to say so. Then that how it always goes. Better late than never, I suppose. To make them tell you no credo is one of the many reasons I go back to school, start my aviation journey. Um, I'm currently pursuing an aviation science degree, a PPL at the local college here in Orange County. I want to make my life's work about giving back to the community effective, positive change, make a difference. I prefer to do all that flying with dedicated talent professionals. I think I may be too old for the Air National Guard. I don't have a suggestion surveying, aerial photography, Forest Service, CAL FIRE, NASA, career pass or someone with solid career history in the field. Thank you for your time reading my letter. Oh uh, boy. So you're right. Uh, you're probably pushing way too on the, on the older side for, for the guard. Um, I would say you're going to have to start with some kind of time building, you know, go get your, you know, go get all your ratings, get your CFI, start instructing, build your time, you know, then start looking at other jobs as you go. Um, personally, 
I wouldn't give up your graphic designer job because it probably pays pretty well. And I would try to do both. I that's just me. So I would say, you know, provide for your family with the higher income job, fly as a CFI, you know, get all your ratings, fly as a CFI. And then as you build hours, more jobs will open up that pay more because regionals right now are paying. I mean, they're almost more than mainline. So if you can get to that point, you know, you can do it. Now, if you're looking for rewarding, it's not the most rewarding job in the world unless, you know, you change your mindset and go, hey, you know, I'm I'm keeping these people safe. I'm helping families get reunited. You know, I'm, I have a mission. If you're wanting to do something high speed, the problem with that is a lot of them require some level of tactical background. Not saying that they all do and not saying that you can't do it without the tactical background. I'm just saying it's more difficult to get into those positions. So you have to go find your way into these positions that will give you that experience, right? Because, you know, it's a lot different flying, you know, firefighting on NVGs than it is flying, you know, the 730 from LA to San Francisco. You know, it's, it's a different type of flying. So uh, NASA, boy, that's a tough one too. Um, you know, because civilian jobs, you know, they have the, the G4 or G4, G5. I don't know. They have the Gulfstream. They have the... Um, the T-38s that are actually contracted out. Uh, those, those jobs are actually contracted out. Um, but I would try to un tr just manage expectations and figure out what it is you're trying to do. Is it for something more fulfilling? Well, then, you know, to me, the most fulfilling job is to fly for fun. I mean, honestly, I enjoy flying for fun more than anything because you make your own, you make your own rules, you make your own mission. If you're trying to do it for, money that is you know a, a different career then the airlines need to be where your your goal is because uh, that'll be the best bang for buck on the you know at the end of the day and a lot of these have you know the zero to hero programs where you know they'll pay for most of your ratings once you have a ppl or even more so you might not even need to do the cfi thing you, you know there are programs that do that so i would look into all that stuff uh career changes are tough but you're not too old you know, you 38, you know, you could easily end up with a mainline or, or FedEx or um, UPS or something seniority number and, and end up making a, a really good career out of it at this point. So it's not too late. It's just figure out what it is you want to do and then attack it, you know, one step at a time. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's go back to the chat and see if anybody's telling me I'm wrong, because typically that's what happens. Uh, let's see. Flying tourists. Flying tourists doesn't really pay that well. Typically those jobs are, I mean, that's a helicopter job usually too. Uh, but yeah. Have I considered building, building a model? Uh, no, I don't build. Mover does not build. Mover moves. Uh, mover destroys things, sometimes cows, but mover does not build. I'm not a builder. My name is not Bob. Did you see the report of the Southwest captain getting nude in the cockpit? I sure did. Sure did. Isn't that crazy? It's kind of an old story, though, isn't it? I don't know why it's coming back out now. Um, <clears throat> let's see. When were you stationed? In I was never stationed there. I went TDY there a ton as an adversary pilot with the F-18, but never was actually stationed there. If you were in my shoes, would you go to the UP you go to UPT or airlines? Here's what I'll say. Depends on how old your shoes are, too. I mean both figuratively and literally. Um, <laughs> you know, the whole you're only young once thing. I would not trade my military flying for any flying I've ever done in my entire career. It's the best flying with the best people in the best service. It, 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 it's awesome. It's easier to go fly fighters when you're young or fly, you know, Tactical, I'm not just talking fighters, you know, helicopters, C-130s, anything military flying is going to have this rewarding mission. Is it easier to, to go military to airlines? Yes. Is it more difficult to go the other way? Probably. If you could, yeah, absolutely. I would ideally go get my airline seniority number and then go get picked up by a guard reserve unit and then do that. Is that a realistic plan? I mean, I don't know. It just depends on where you are in the process. Uh, and how quickly you can get that line number and then go back and get hired by a guard reserve unit. So I, I can't answer that without knowing specifics, but I would not chase an airline job over what I've done personally. 
you know, because I think the best flying I've ever done was in the military. Anyway. Uh, oh, so never mind. I guess I'm reading this backwards. I'm an enlisted Marine get, uh, get out and get out in three months. I want to do the air force UPT program, flying the EX, no single, no kids. Yeah, dude, go, go do it. Absolutely. Airlines will be there when you get back, probably. Um, so my bad. I'm reading. I'm reading from bottom to top, so to speak. Uh, hi, mover. Any advice on seeking helicopter license as a hobby? Based on your recommendation to expand beyond my professional career, it's an expensive hobby. It's a fun hobby, but it's expensive. Go find a reputable school with good helicopters, um, and I think that'll be your best bet. But uh, it is a fun hobby, you know, get your commercial license, you know, go through and get at least your commercial. It's good to have, uh, if you can afford it, get the instrument training. Cause that's good to have too, especially if you have no fixed wing instrument background, but definitely something worthwhile. Uh, let's see here. JD swag says channel support. Thank you. You are wrong. Just kidding. Standard standard. I had a comment yesterday. We're going to do a mover. Ruins Mover and Gonky and read the mean comments from the Top Gun Maverick because good Lord, I'm almost convinced a lot of those are bots because they're the same comment, just different people. The English is very bad and they kind of miss the point of Mover Ruins movies. Uh, so. Do I feel the need for speed? Probably. Probably. Uh, Luna Bell is great. Her accidents have stopped. Now she's just a chunky monkey. So we've got to get her weight under control. If you go to Instagram, uh, Lemoyne Dogs, I post stuff about the puppers on there, on the gram. What is the coolest thing you've done in a civilian aircraft? Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, does, does the sheriff's office stuff count? Because I've landed like on sandbars and stuff with the helicopter. I landed my buddy's field in the R44. You know, I think that's cool. But that's just me. All right. Cheddar says, bizarre noises take over American Airlines flight intercom and YouTube. Sorry I had to share. You mentioned health issues. Uh, I don't have any health issues. The dogs do. Not me. I'm, I'm pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Nice. Strike the Tron 204. Man, I miss that place. That would have been a great place to keep flying. Uh, I already have my tail wheel. So how about that? Got my tail wheel in a Pitts S2. And an Aronka Champ. Or sorry, I've flown an Aronka Champ. I've flown a Giles 202. Um, I haven't flown tail wheel in a while, but I mean, I've got it. So there you go. What now on long flights when you're on autopilot, are you actually allowed to read play on your phone? What now? I mean, I guess you could, but you're not going to get service. So you're just going to be playing like solitaire or candy crush or whatever. Ah, yes. Uh, so for those of you that follow both channels, life with mover, I threw the Leo breakdown on the other channel. Um, I'm not real sure. You know, I've obviously got two channels. The second channel is not really monetized. Um, I've thought about bringing everything back to this channel because this is just me, right? It's not a specific channel to like any one topic. It's all the stuff that I like and, you know, enjoy and, and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm going to still test the waters on the other channel, maybe put the tactical stuff on there, like guns and law enforcement stuff on there and dogs and put anything with a vehicle moving on this channel. We'll see. A 1000% steak. I don't trust seafood. I mean, I don't hate seafood, but I don't trust seafood. All about the steak. I have the uh, menu of a toddler. You can give me some chicken nuggets, I'm happy. Or steak. Or cheese fries. Any of those things. Where was I during Katrina? I lived in New Orleans. I had just bought my house. Uh, I just graduated from Tulane. And so when Katrina actually happened, I evacuated to my dad's house and watched it on the news and then came back. Uh, so anyway... Looking forward to Mover Root and Reed's mean tweets. Yeah, somebody said, actually, that was one of the uh, the mail things I was supposed to read. Uh, Mike said it was uh, 6.9. I don't remember where it was. Okay. Anyway. 
Speaking of Maverick, could you not posy up premieres like a week ahead? Listen, dude, I already explained this a while ago. This was not my call. If it were up to me, all those videos would be out and we'd be done talking about Top Gun Maverick right now. But it wasn't up to me. Still trying to work through that process. That, that's the hard part about um, dealing with Movie Ruins movies is you're dealing with studios sometimes. And sometimes studios have varying degrees of understanding of what fair use is. And, you know, it's it's very slanted towards the copyright holder versus what actual the law is. So thanks, Gregory. Appreciate it, man. I understand you're just, I don't have disdain. That's not disdain. I like to make fun of it. Uh, you know, she's not the best looking fighter we've ever built. She has her problems, but you know, would I fly it? Yeah. Um, yeah. What benefit does it serve? Well, I mean, you know, guard units typically do the air defense mission and that's an air defense unit. Uh, they deploy just like everybody else. Guard units have more experience than their active duty counterparts. It's a good thing to have, you know, it's good. To, it's good for the guard to have that, you know, it's not, you're not talking like army guard, um, which I think a lot of people get confused. You know, your air national guard and air force reserve units are the most experienced units you have. Um, you know, that's where, you know, when guys get off active duty, that's where they go and that's where they take all their experience. So there's absolutely a benefit of having them there and they deploy. I mean, they're on normal 18 month, 36 month rotations to go deploy. When you did your helicopter training? No, it was not in Gulf, in Gulfport. It was in New Orleans. Tom Cruise asked mover, how did you get to be such a good fighter pilot? Well, Tom, it's a long way to the top. If you want to rock and roll, uh, that's some of the comments is how Tom Cruise is a better pilot than me, which I always laugh at those uh, really anger some people. Here's one from Twitch. Hey, Mover, thanks for the excellent videos. Questions. Do you have any regrets in your career? Yes, a lot. Is it appropriate for this channel? Maybe eventually, not right now, uh, but 1000%. Yeah, uh, there's plenty of regrets, plenty of things I've screwed up, plenty of things I've done wrong. Uh, plenty of things I've apologized for, you know, I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't, I don't think anybody should expect me to be, you know, the stereotypical, um, you know, fighter pilot. That's, I think that's what made this channel happen. Right. Because that's the first thing I said when I showed up was like, I'm just a normal dude that had great opportunities and, uh, just didn't quit. Thanks banks. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. How often do you get canceled? Eh, you know, 50, 50. You mean like by the, the cancel mob or are you talking like as an airplane, like we're talking flight schedule canceled or like cancel culture. Cause you know, I don't know. We need to do that Malaysian movie. I'll have to get Gonky back on the channel. Ribeye all day long. Ribeye. I've not seen any WAPs or UOPs. Leo video was cool, literally. Yep. And then old what's his nuts? Uh, Donut did one that was better right after. Man, killing me, Smalls. It's not a competition, though. I watch his stuff. I think it's cool. What one piece of advice? Why are you limiting me? You're not my supervisor. Don't limit me to one piece. That's your first piece of advice. Um, someone walking into their OCS board interview. I would say be yourself. Answer honestly. And think about officership as people like you are, what can you do for people? You know, how can you help your team effectively accomplish a mission? How can you help your team not have distractions, not have, um, roadblocks to effectively accomplish the mission? Don't think of it. You know, you're not Patton. You're just you Jack leading First, it's a small group, then it's a larger group, and then it, you know, it expands over time. But how can you best help them accomplish their mission? And most of the time, it's just getting out of their way, you know, listening and giving them guidance when they need it. So when you're going to this interview, I would say the biggest thing is be yourself and show that you're that kind of person. That's just my take. You know, I mean, some people may think you have to be a or whatever, but uh, that's it. Uh, I was at the 62nd fighter squadron at Luke. Yeah. Can they? No. Do they? Yes. 
I know plenty of dudes. I've watched them in the EOR, which is the end of the runway with the pedal pack dipping into the thing. It's disgusting, but yep, they do it for sure. Uh, hell yeah, gun content. The only thing that'll demonetize you quicker than Paramount. So what I'll probably do on the other channel, I got some body armor that I want to talk about, like what I use when I go on duty, uh, both from an active shooter perspective, kind of the, the active shooter kit that I have, and then the normal patrol uh, armor that I have, because I actually bought my own uh, instead. I mean, we're issued stuff, which is great. I really appreciate it, but I saw an opportunity to upgrade and be a little bit safer, and I did, and I, I really think that, you know, it's good equipment. Is Lester still available? Yes. Is the helicopter available? Not yet. When you start seeing me make helicopter videos again, that's when you'll know it's available again. But yeah, Lester's looking for students, I think. How long did the Viper take? Uh, six months, eight months, something like that. Uh, everyone on YouTube has that problem. They can't say when exactly I'll post something because videos get taken. Yeah, it's 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 getting better because they just changed. It used to be uh, two sets of thirty days and then a seven day period, and they allowed you now to skip to the seven day. But the seven day skipping to the seven day period is like playing chicken because at the end, then they can give you a copyright strike and, and the copyright holder is the one that makes the decision. There's no third party here. They can give you a copyright strike. And then the only way to fight that is you get the strike, the video gets taken down. Then you, uh, file a counter notification and tell them, look, you know, this is legal, fair use, whatever. And then they have to go back and prove within, I think, 10 days or seven days to YouTube that they took you to federal court. Well, it's a game of chicken, right? Because studios have more resources than you do. They more easily can take you to court. And if they take you to court, well, if you lose, then it kind of sucks. So, yeah, definitely not the best system in the world, but it has gotten better. Are you ever going to sell merch? I used to. I used to have shirts and stuff. It was kind of tacky. Am I going to now? I don't know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not in this, like, I'm not here. Like I know I'm, I'm missing out on revenue opportunities left and right. I don't care. You know, I, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy interacting with people that are interested in aviation and interested in all the stuff that I'm interested in. And I enjoy helping and I enjoy all the cool stuff that's about to happen because there is a ton. I mean, knock on wood, you know, it, I talked about this before the last six months have been awful, but the next six months are going to be amazing. There is a lot of cool stuff happening. There's a lot of cool stuff that's getting scheduled right now that I think is going to be exciting. And I think it's going to help. And I think that it's going to open up opportunities for everybody. I think people are going to watch some of the stuff that we do and going to be like, wow, this is pretty cool. And I'm really excited about what's happening next. Thank you for the advice. Oh, that's sweet of you. You don't have to do that. Are you excited about no shave November? Yeah, except it sucks because every two weeks I've got to go do military stuff and shave it. So like you'll have this until next Thursday, then I'll shave it and then I'll have to start all over. So, but yeah, I wish it was like the policy all the time. Uh oh, what did I do? That was not situationally aware. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to scroll down. Is P-51 Tom taller than Gonky? No, not at all. Gonky's almost as tall as me. He's like 5'10 or 11. He's a five, maybe he's 5'11. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close. What do you think is a greater air threat, China or Russia? China. I think we underestimate China at our own peril. China is a threat on so many levels. Um, including socially. I mean, TikTok, I've said this many times. TikTok is not your friend. TikTok is not a good thing for us. Definitely not as pretty as a raptor, but still pretty menacing. Saw Bayo do the demo profile. Yeah, man, it's awesome. Yeah, I, like I said, it's tongue in cheek. You know, it, none of the people think I'm serious on some of the comments we make, and it's just for fun. Dave. Oh, Dovey. Thank you. Yes. No, I'm not at the airline right now. Uh, I think if I did it, it would be out of Miami. So I'd be South America mostly. 
Dying to know if a real plane can perform that evasive maneuver the enemy plane made in Maverick. Yeah, I go watch the Su-57 demo video. Uh, oh, 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 saving it from what? What are we being saved from? What position would you like to have on the Normandy and which version you prefer? You know, it's it was a I didn't like going to the SR2. You know, because I knew where everything was on the SR1, but SR2 was cool. I liked ED. Um, obviously, I'd want to fly it with Joker, but you know, I, you know, I'd probably want to be on Shepard's like team, you know, operator kind of stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. Could fighter pilots be charged like criminally? That's more of a other country thing. We typically don't criminally charge. I mean, it's possible, but you'd have to be doing something extremely dangerous and stupid, not just have an accident. He does not. Uh, there are a couple other channels. Uh, the Popo Medic has done some great. He does some documentary style stuff now, which is amazing. Um, there was that other guy down in Florida. Um, I forget his name, but he was doing breakdowns. He actually does body cam footage, which I think is amazing. That's really cool. Is that how far behind I am on these things? Yeah, I'm never getting back to these emails. Sorry about the emails. We'll have to get back to them later. I'm just stuck on the chat now. Um, I was faster. No, it's because I only saw the one video. He had like the whole thing. Like he set the stage. I just looked at the, the one shot. And then somebody told me that if I want to be taken seriously, never say a single tap again. I'm like, who cares? You guys are nerds. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know why warrant officer is a thing in the army and nowhere else. Can you fly with a lazy eye? I don't think so. I don't think so. But that would be a flight surgeon question, which if you email me, I can ask the question. I have a very good connection with a flight surgeon that's very helpful. Have you considered doing any air ambulance flying? Uh, I mean, it would be fun to do, but as far as a job, I don't need a job, you know, cause I got the airline thing and military and all that stuff. And the pay is not that great. You know, that's, that's what I feel bad for the helicopter community is like you spend all this money, you spend way more money for training and get paid half as much, you know, to work a, a much more dangerous job. Uh, how do you deal with captains and airlines who tell you how to do everything? I, um, well, if it gets bad enough, you go to professional standards, but you know, you have to draw your line, you know, do what the procedures are, do what the checklists are. You try to get along, right? The best thing to do is to get along. Um, uh, you know, if, if, if it's just somebody who's overbearing, that's one thing, but if they're doing something that's unsafe, then you, you have to, you have to speak up. But if it's, you know, just a personality thing, you try to, you know, make jokes and make a couple jokes like, Hey, you know, I got that or, or whatever. Uh, you know, Hey, you know, yeah, I know it's my first day, but I'll figure it out. But you don't try not to have a conflict. You know, you try to just get along and make it as good of a trip as you can. He plans on the ZR1. Uh, no upgrades. Uh, might do a track day uh, in the near future. I was hoping Chevy would allow the mover to do a Z06 versus ZR1 comparison at NOLA Motorsports Park, but Chevy completely ignored all of my requests. Like literally, uh, Micah was nice enough to put me in contact with a guy at Chevy and he just flat out ignored me. Like four emails completely ignored me. So they don't want the mover to uh, help them out with Chevrolet. I'm just fine, you know, whatever. Oh God, what is your opinion, Uvalde response? It does not represent any of our training or any other agency in the country. Don't judge us by what they did. Uh, four. Oh, that's right, the Odin tees were cool. No, I had the, the big, that one, that one on a shirt. I mean, it's okay. Uh, oh, well, thank you. Yeah, no, I was, it was not, there was nothing physical. It was all just stuff going on. Stuff was not going on. Yep, still am. Okay. I got him, I'm getting so far behind. Uh, did you ever want to fly the F-15? Sure. Is it highly desirable? know about that but i'd have flown the f-15 would have been cool 
Uh, so the only reason I'm doing military stuff now, the only updates I can say are I still don't have another job. The previous job is allowing me to drill um, on a case by case basis. But I none of that stuff is settled yet. It's still not good. Uh, no, you sick toxic click on links. I don't get the people making videos. I don't either. I don't. I don't. I think it's unoriginal. It's unimaginative. You know, you dancing and singing and lip syncing to a comedian, I think is probably the lowest form of humor because you're just, you're not funny, but you think that you can be funny by do. I just, nah, ugh, disgusting. Maybe I'm getting old. I am getting old. Oh, look, somebody needs to be banned with the block user. Best adult dating site. Uh, let's not talk about ejection. Let's just skip that for now. Gonkies, what's saving the channel? Again, from what? What are we being saved from? Uh, let's see. What's your favorite movie of all time? Well, that's a good question. Man, I'm a big fan of John Wick. I love John Wick. Um... You know, there's there's so many. I have a lot of favorites, a lot, a lot of revenge movies. Obviously, Top Guns, you know, up there. Uh, I enjoyed Firebirds, you know, even though it's Firebirds. I have a fighter squadron in the office right now. Cool. Uh, we don't care. I mean, it's it's like. It's everything's debriefed, you know, it's debriefed and you, you, you come up with debrief focus points and all that stuff, or you're just doing it fun for continuation training. But uh, no, I, I never kept score. I don't care. That's ego stuff that has no purpose. What do you think of the news? The F-22 could become a six gen fighter due to the newest modifications. That'd be cool. I haven't heard that. Any plans to get a C-8Z06? Well, no, because, uh, well... Number one, if you're on a list, they're charging markups. And if you're not like super famous, you're not getting one anytime in the next year or so. No, I don't think so. Just want to throw out a random fact. We're gonky. Oh, I, there was an email. Hold on. Somebody sent me this picture. I won't read his email, but he said he saw this and it reminded him of gonky. Speaking of gonky. So that reminded him of gonky. There you go. Uh, helicopter. Oh, I got to get rid of this now. Helicopter review content. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess we could do that. Man, we're old. Aren't we old, though? Sucks. We'll be 40 next year. Uh, getting Gonky to do anything is a challenge. Like, he's not readily available. Same with Wombat, which... I've been trying to get Wombat on this thing, which, by the way, go buy his book. He's a Mustang driver. He wrote Trees in Flight. But getting him now that he's all, oh, I'm doing airline stuff, everybody's too cool for me. So it's just you're stuck with me, I guess. I don't know. Uh, hide current comment. All right. Did I skip a whole bunch of stuff? Do I have advice for waiting for an OTS board? I mean, get your... Be as competitive as you can. High GPA, high scores. Um, you know, get physically in shape. Be ready to pass the PT tests and all that stuff, and you should be good to go. Uh, you know, nobody's a good movie. I don't think it's as good as John John Wick. Like the the motivation of that movie didn't really make as much sense. You kill a dog, dude. Game on. Hello, Mike, the legendary gamer. Oh, flight surgeon. Oh, cool. What's the best way to learn correct BFM? Go to pilot training. IFF, the B course. So, mover, when I put glasses, I get 20 vision, but without glasses, it's not 20 20. Uh, it's correctable. So, it's just going to depend on the diopters. Um, it's correctable to 2020. So it doesn't have to be 2020. It just has to be correctable, which that leads me to, I think I had a question like that on here. Questions about discouragement. Did we do that one? Uh, no. 
Oh, here it is. Fighter pilots ruin Top Gun Maverick number 6.9. Me comments. You're welcome. No, I guess we didn't have that. Okay, back to you guys. No, Gonkey's call sign. Oh, you guys lost me. Hold on. We're not going to have Go Wombat. Wombat still manages to take over the channel. Even without me. Yeah, you say it's not Mustang, but I was looking online because I was like, you know, GT500 would be nice, which those things are marked up stupidly too. But they call it a Mustang. Ford Mustang, Port Shelby Mustang GT500R. Uh, speaking of Folds of Honor, they now do law enforcement. So they'll do scholarships for those fallen in the line of duty for first responders, which I think is awesome. Let's see here. Yes. Yes. There's, there's going to be a gaggle of an interview soon. It's going to be awesome. It's related to the first Top Gun. That's all I'll say. Talk to me straight. Talk to me, Goose. 31, is it too late to finish school to go to service and apply to IFT? Uh, technically, no, but you better hurry. You know, um, you're not, you don't require a waiver at this point, but you know, unless you can finish soon, you will. But that doesn't mean it's over. It just means it's a little bit more difficult. But take one step at a time, you know, small bite to the apple. Get your... Get your degree, get a GPA, do well on the test scores, um, start applying, get your pilot license, you know, do small things to make yourself more competitive. Get rid of the picture, sir. Sorry for triggering you. What's the best way to learn instrument BFM, though? Oh, wow. DCS. 1,000%. If you want to learn how to not look outside, just do it in DCS. Oh, I can't I can't do that. Your name and airlines. I can't, I can't show you that. Yes, if you ever fly with Wombat, ask him about his Mustang. <laughs> buffering. Bro. It wasn't buffering. It shouldn't have been buffering. That was just me doing that. I upgraded my Wi-Fi recently. Here we go. Let's talk about cars. What do you think about Amelia Hartford setting the new Z06 record? Uh, 10.5. Please forgive if I got anything wrong. I'm not a vague guy. I think it's awesome. I'm very happy for her. I'm very jealous because I'm a Corvette guy, but is what it is. You know, I, I would love to have taken a Z06 around the road course and compared it to my ZR1, but you know, who am I? I'm not sad. Uh, not anytime soon. I mean, am I ever going to do them again? I can. Do I want to do them? It's tough, man. Those are hard to do. As a writer, do you appreciate or dislike the classics of literature? I'm not really a reader. Like, I feel like if I'm reading, I should be writing. So, and I don't really read. The only time I ever read is when I'm on a trip. And then I read like, you know, action thriller novels or something. Have you reviewed an officer and gentleman? I have not. I'd have to get Wombat or Gonky because they actually went to this training. I went to officer training school. Uh, I did Iron Eagle. Well, I haven't done Iron Eagle 3 or 4 or 5. Uh, yes, I still use the Puma, Puma, Pro, Puma Pro Flight Trainer. They just sent me their new one, and it's awesome, and we're going to do a review soon. Uh, I have not. Eh, I may, they may like the RAF. Which RAF? Are we talking Australian or the Brits? Because the Brits have been at a red flag with us and they were flying really, really low. Did Iron Eagle. Go, go Google it or search for it. It's there. Uh, would you ever consider flying for an airline based outside of the U.S.? Absolutely not. I barely want to fly. No, I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> <laughs> Did we answer this? Uh, yes, I, I have a tailwheel endorsement. I love flying. I'd fly a tailwheel for sure. Anytime. Uh, I don't make plans that far, but from there, if somebody wants to high five, cool. Put your requests. Well, now I'm stuck with having to do Firefox. Like, he's forced my hand, which I appreciate. Uh, so RAAF is Australian. RAF is the Brits. Got it. Okay, we've caught up. I can go back to... Douglas is great. He's busy right now doing some uh, motorcycling things. So 
yeah. Oops, we're live for works. Ooh, that's a good one. GTAP. So they did an update on the servers that we used on 5M or 5PD. And they all now require like applications. You have to go super nerd. And I'm not a big fan of going super nerd because they, number one, I don't know any of their stuff because their tin codes and all that stuff are all different than what you use in real life. And I don't want to take it seriously because why would I want to take it seriously? I don't want to take anything seriously. Like, why? No, I don't want to do that. Uh, audio is skipping? I don't know. I don't have any. There's nothing indicating that on my end, so I apologize if that's the case. All right. Let's do some uh, emails, and then we'll wrap this thing up, because I think I've uh, started to wind down here. Uh, let's see. Did, I, I swear we did this one about the photography thing. What about this one? No, no. This was an age question. Should I stop at PBL? No, keep going. I mean, if, if nothing else, so the question was, do you stop at PPL? No, just keep going. Like, even if you don't use it, it, it's good skills to have. It'll lower your insurance rates. It'll make you a better pilot. It keeps you more proficient. I mean, there's no reason not to continue. Uh, hey, I'm an aspiring fighter pilot for the Canadian forces. Do you have any advice on how to go about it? What's the water survival training? That's the only part I'm scared of. Um, so I don't know if it's more like our air force water survival, which is absolutely nothing. It's floating around on a raft doing some parasailing. Somebody drags you with a jet ski. It's actually pretty fun. Navy water survival is a little bit more challenging and sucks and I don't like it, but it's like anything else, right? Even if it sucks, you just have to get through it. You know, one little piece at a time until eventually you're through the thing and then you have to wait and do it four years later, but You'll get over it. I mean, when you see the the goal, the end goal, which is, you know, to be a pilot, you, you're going to make small sacrifices. And that's just part of the game. My audio is choppy. I, I don't know, man. I don't know why. It's not a connection issue. YouTube is trying to kill the stream. Maybe this this thing. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, I don't know what MREs taste the best. YouTube is trying to kill your stream. No, I don't think so. All right, what else? Let's get uh, <laughs> Paramount's putting it. Yeah, Paramount is not a fan of me right now. I don't think they're they're all mover mover fans here. Uh, no, nobody talks about UFOs typically. Uh, I mean, everybody. So like there are various types of wings. Now, do they need to have the radiators like pilots? No, but I mean, wings are not specific to anything. You know, I mean, are you a sensor operator? Yes. Are you wearing a flight suit? Cool. Are you a pilot? No. I'm writing a story about a fighter pilot flying out of Homestead in 1989. Are there any good sources for researching that area? era and location. You need to find somebody that flew F4s down at Homestead back in those days. Um, yeah, I don't know. Other than a time machine or the Google. Those are probably the only two options if you can't find somebody that's actually done that. Imagine Paramount's put a bounty on me. Tom Cruise is sitting in his lair. Just I, I have no I don't, I'm not illusioned about that at all. I do not believe that Tom Cruise thinks that any, they even knows who I am and rightfully sore. So anyway, cool. Um, audiobooks, I just haven't done them. I, I've put that on the back burner. I'm trying to write right now uh, the, the new sci-fi book. I've got 17, I'm on chapter 17. So I've got 16 chapters written. I'm really enjoying that one. But, you know, it's, is what it is. What do I watch? Uh, I Well, uh, you know, you talked about Amelia Hartford. I watch her stuff uh, for the C8 Z06 stuff. I think that's pretty cool. I think what she's doing is great. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for, for her channel. Um, you know, I do watch Donut, uh, you know, Range Channel, the Afterburner podcast, Casmo, you know, casmo has got a cool thing, cool channel. When he uploads, he's been pretty busy lately, I think. Um, you know, some of the gun channels, 
I'll watch, but you know. Yeah, there you go. Contact public affairs and ask for the wing historian. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Yeah, we can do the, that'd probably be on the other channel just for monetization reasons. Um, not that the other channels monetize, but just to keep it from somehow getting on. Cause I've been on YouTube's bad list and yeah, they'll shadow ban you in a heartbeat. Uh, with writing, how do you decide you're done with a chapter and that's time to start another? So I am non-standard. I write shorter chapters because I think it keeps the pace going. And I just, you know, whenever it gets the point across, whenever I get to the the logical conclusion of that chapter is when I go, oh, hey, Snipes. Snipes is wobbling in here, poor puppy. Um, yeah. Anyway, Sniper says it is time for his, I guess, supper. They eat early. Uh, lunch, supper. So got to go feed the pups, but thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow, hopefully, allegedly, I can, um, you may see the next installment of Top Gun Maverick, or you may not. I don't know. I'm going to cruising the coast this weekend with the Harrison County Sheriff's Office. Hopefully get some video with that. So that'll be a, another video I do. So that could be the next video if Top Gun Maverick doesn't make it past the filters. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, okay. Appreciate you watching anyway. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.